Shalom and welcome to Tumas Torah. This year is entitled In Memory of Rabbi David Keen Zechet Sadak Lavrach on Hashloshim. Hardly a month went by since my dear friend from childhood, David Keen, passed away. Amazing person went blind early in his life when he was here in Israel learning. Shocking news, and he just continued and continued through life. Smicha, degrees, masters, a chaplain in the NYU hospital. Unbelievable accomplishment, beautiful family, children. And I think on the Shloshim at Parshas Vayeshev, we think about Yaakov. Rashi says he wants to Lashev Peshalva, sitting quiet. He went through so much Kenim in his life with Asa, Lavan, Rachel, Leah, so much tension. He said, Ah, oh, now we have something new happening. Now we have something new. It's the chapter of Shalva. You know what? He really thinks that he's going to go and place golf and retire. That's not what he was thinking. He could sit, learn, teach his children, his family, the Gentiles, but the Shev Mrs. Bnei Noach, and that's going to be the mascara, the framework he's in. And God says, no, not true. You think that maybe part of your life was the upheaval chapter. Now the next chapter is going to be the Shalva chapter. I understand what you're thinking, Yaakov, it's just not the way it is. Then Yosef came and had the whole incident and it was upheaval for many, many more years. And that's life. We have upheaval, we have bumps, we have challenges. Then we have all shalva. Sometimes it'll be right more, sometimes less. There's no guarantee of shalva in this world. Next world is the guarantee. This world, there's so many variables involved in what Hashem is going to give us. And the tzaddikim among us, they have challenges, things happen, and we see. The connection to Hashem is so tight. And Rabbi David Keen Zatzal was one of those tzaddikim. Where Hashem threw an unbelievable challenge to the life of Shalva, and he just continued growing and developing. As Helen's mom said last night, she live, should live and be well. 55 years, too short on the one hand, but what is the host that we had him around? for this precious, precious time, and we have to just continue that legacy of a connection to Hashem through the upheaval periods, through the Shalva periods, it's Hashem. His name should always be for inspiration for all of us. Shalom.